Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, dear chairperson. Um, I know it's the end of the, a long day of General Assembly and that you're very tired, but I'll just ask you to bear with us a few minutes while I explain to you uh, where, what we're planning to do and I hope honestly that uh, in three years time you guys will, or your successors will all be sitting in Monaco in the conference centre of the Grimaldi Forum, 20 metres underwater, to uh, witness the General Assembly because it's a great honour for me to announce, uh, to confirm the announcement we made last year that JCI Monaco is officially bidding for the organisation of the 2013 European Conference of JCI. Exactly works. Why Monaco? Why do we want to do it in 2013? Now the first reason is that 2013 will mark the 50th anniversary of our association, which was founded in 1963. Another reason is that Prince Albert II of Monaco uh, fully supports JCI's initiatives on a local, national and international level. He is a senator of JCI, he is our honorary national president, and he has given a great deal of support to our project. In January this year, we organised the 20th anniversary of our Senate Association. Prince Albert was there, uh, plenty of you, uh, especially the Senators, were also present, and he announced his support for our bid. The next day he sent us a very nice letter explaining his, the good memories he had. Now, for those of you who are still around, I think mainly the Senators, who were already here, in 1998 we organised uh, with great success a conference and uh, Prince Albert was here, he was still a member at the time and he was at the conference in Greece to support our bid and we've got his full support and that's something for which we're truly grateful and we hope that he'll be there to welcome you all the delegates uh, in 2013 if our bid goes through. Now, JCI Monaco may be a small association but our members really look forward to welcoming you. We really have great pride in our country and we really look forward to helping you discover it. Um, we have a great deal of expertise and know-how in organising events, international events. Uh, in addition to the 1998 European Conference, uh, some of you were, may have also been present in 2007 at uh, the European President's meeting, I'm sure that many of you, who some of them I recognise in this room, have got fond memories of this event. Uh, more recently, we organised the uh, Top Gear Formula One Grand Prix event, which uh, which I presented uh, to, which I presented a couple of days ago, and uh, I think the delegates who are all here will probably uh, have good memories of our hospitality. Now. To answer Hanno's question, where the F is Monaco? <laughs> right. I think most of you actually know where it is, but uh, to be honest, I think it's a lovely place. Uh, I can say that because I wasn't born there, I'm from England, and uh, I'm very proud to have lived there for 21 years, that's why I'm still there, actually. Uh, we've got lovely weather, uh, I think, but uh, without uh, wanting to say anything bad about Denmark this year, I think it's something we can definitely improve on. One of the few things which I'm pretty sure we can improve on. Uh, and uh, we can expect an outside temperature of about 23, 24 degrees. You'll be able to go to the seaside, to go swimming in the free time that the EVP allows. And uh, you'll also be able to go hiking in the mountains or whatever. Uh, Easy access is also an important thing. Nice Airport is only 35 minutes away and, uh, and uh, Nice Airport is connected to most of the major capitals of Europe with direct flights and uh, with low-cost airlines. So it won't cost you a lot. And uh, it's basically somewhere which is also totally safe. Now, uh, as uh, the Belgian delegation said earlier, pictures speak much louder than words. So uh, I'm going to pass you a short video which um, which uh, will show you exactly what Monaco is about.
Can I just say, um, just to, uh, the venues you can see there, the kind of places we're looking for, and our bid committee has already started working hard. Uh, Alexandra, our international VP, is already working on this, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask him. So we look forward to seeing you in Tarragona, to having your support until then for our official ratification, hopefully, and uh, we uh, look forward to welcoming you, hopefully, in Monaco in 2013. Thank you very much. Thank you.